Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer here with another episode of Enderal Forgotten Stories. And there's a lot of mumble in here. Anyway, if you remember what happened in the last episode, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm still pissed off about it. And I thought there was going to be something going on in a different direction there. Ugh. All right, enough. We need to take out some pent-up aggression. We're going to do some pit fighting. We got ourselves a better weapon. And remembering that we actually have a ta certain talent that should change the tide in these damn things. Let's do this. Yes. Ah, you've come at the right time. There's a fight soon, and you're the perfect candidate. Two versus one. Interested? The twins. Two nasty, hairy beasts of men with even nastier axes. Yeah, I know, the odds are against you, but what should I say? The crowd wants it, I deliver. What do you say? Oh yeah, but judging by how you fought, I think you stand a chance. Still, it'll be dangerous. So, what do you say? Bold words. All right, then go downstairs and warm up. I'll tell you when we're ready. All right, we're going to try this again. Didn't work so well last time. Madam and may sirs, a cordial welcome to the dust pit. You know who I am, I know who you are, and above all, I know why you are here today. Because you want to see a fight? Where is that damn talent? There it is. And... Today, two familiar faces will fight a rookie who you've already grown to love. The twins against the mysterious warrior only known as... The Prophet! It is a battle to the death. A battle about gold and blood. Now enough of the words! Time to give you what you've all been waiting for! Warriors, fight! Not bad! Okay, that didn't... it did not work. That's one. Now we can just brawl. Rune battle axes and iron crap and blue quartz and the other full. And about the same without the quartz. All right, let's talk to Rasha. Hmm? What do you want? My share? I fought and I won, in case you didn't notice. Ah, sure. Sorry. I was... elsewhere. Here's your share. Why? Because of that Eterna? Well deduced, detective. What's it about? What does he want from you? His shadow tribute, which my esteemed father, who rediscovered his juvenile spite in his last years, refuses to pay. Which, in return, means that the nice guy who just paid me a visit will send us some of Relata's goons to either set fire to our establishment, or send my father onto the eternal paths a couple of years earlier, if I don't think of something. Maybe I can take care of that guy for you? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you have no idea how the wind blows down here, do you? Thanks for the offer, but no. Only an utter idiot would take on the Relata. What's the Shadow Tribute? Protection money. If you want to stay alive down here, you have to pay. Any idea when the next fight will happen? Days, give or take. Oh, I know you'd love to jump right back in. But if we start doing battles every bloody minute, the crowd will lose interest. And money. Just swing by in a couple of days, alright? You'll get your fight. Fine. See you then. So long. Alright, so we gotta wait a few days. Alright. Now we gotta find signposts, get the hell out of here. Not sure if I had anything to put up, but always good to know. I don't think this is the... Whoa. Mystical symbol. Ooh. Hey, my stash! Okay, was not expecting that. That's pretty damn cool, though. Uh, we'll put the exclusive health potion up. We anything that strong. We'll grab a standard instead. That'll do the trick. Uh, sort by type. We got three ambrosias. That's more than enough. We'll put those up in case I ever somehow get my lock picking up. Use it for the more difficult locks. I mean, while we can pick our novice and apprentice, they're easy. Come on. They're just easy. And... Okay. Got our resistances. Got staminas. Got magic. Yeah, we got everything we need in potion-wise. That's fine. Okay. Enchantables there. An eternal dagger in case I decide I want to enchant it. That's fine. And why are these in here? They're not considered smithables, so honestly, we might as well just sell them. They do have a fair amount of sellables, actually. That's kind of odd. And honestly, we just need the money. Don't know what that's for, but we'll hold on to it just in case. How are we doing? Oh, right. Craft the books we don't need at the moment and alcohol. And, oh my. <laughs> wow. There we go. That whittles down our alcohol at least. Jeez. Wait, I got potions of water breathing. And scrolls of water breathing. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Got a bunch of extra iron stuff, which I'm never going to use. And... And I got other stuff I need to sell. Time check is 3.44 in the morning, which actually explains an awful lot. And I took a wrong turn out of here, didn't I? I mean, it worked out, but... This is not where I wanted to go. Ah, okay. Oh, no, wait. Here we go, here we go.
Don't worry, I'd really like to pop him in the face. You're not one of the Relata's mercenaries, are you? Word has it they're hiring again. I'd give him a wide berth if I were ye. Hey, bloody wench thinks she's Vata incarnate. Oh, ain't you lovely. Alright, well, how the hell do I get out of here? War. After all these centuries, watching you sleep up. crazy. Always. Relata Shara. Sleeper. Okay, there was a way to get out of here that we found before. I don't remember how we did it, though. What? Hate it when this happens. Right, that's fights a little money. Interesting weapon you got there. I don't even want to know where you had to go to find it. <laughs> I'm guessing who wants those service smarts are wishing for the safety of these games. Okay. Move along. All right, I, we'll find a way out. Ah, there. I knew there was a sign nearby. I just couldn't find it. Okay. Um. Okay, we got a lot of three-star quests to do. Might be time to start doing one. Well, we've tried to do this one repeatedly. I guess we can give it another shot. But we need to kill some time first. So actually, what we're going to do... Best way to do that... We're going to go back home. As I said on numerous occasions, your boy Big Dave is an idiot. Can't find the signpost in Ark. Just use I just use my return spell. I have it set up to go right outside my house. So what we're going to do, uh, do is we're going to rest up a bit until it's uh, daybreak. We're going to sell all of our crap. Try and make as much money as we can. Try and get as many books as we can. And then we're going to do what we do best.
as we fall once again flat on our face. <laughs> and just make sure this is taken care of. Okay. We got some food we gotta take care of. So, and I make that wrong turn every single time. To the trading post we go. We'll see what gets put up. And we'll need to see just what we're doing with food. Okay, first the cooking storage. Put up the crap, and yeah, that did a bit better. Not really not much we can do with any of this stuff, huh? So we got some roasted po uh, poultry meat, a bunch of roasted salmon, and an archaic vegan soup. Okay, eating the bread uh, seems to have finished our healing. Alright, so we got food put up. We've got... Do we even have anything in the way of enchantables or soul gem? No, we have a soul gem, one. But we use those for different reasons. So, let's go sleep off for a bit so we can... So we're just waiting for uh, shopkeepers to show up so we can sell stuff. Four hours will more than do it. seen you around here before. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take a look. Well, let's see what we can sell here. Coal, the hammer, the inkwell, the scalpel. Really, that didn't get put up. Oh, well. Not sure if that would actually work with the quest I got queued up, but hey, we can give it a shot. Okay, we can't sell. Oh, yes, we can. That'll help. We'll sell those rune battle axes. And that'll do us good there. Let's see if Golden Fur's got anything for us. It wouldn't be here, would it? Okay. Well, first things first. Okay, Handicraft Sad is at 50. Oh, a bit of this. Right, so we need uh, expert uh, crafting books. Alright, he's got one expert rhetoric. Fine, we'll snag it. Course, we'll read it. Log blessed, my sir. And hungry for arcane secrets. Okay. I have <coughs> books, scrolls, potions. You know what? We always go to. We're going to go back to the Golden Sickle. Maybe the, uh, maybe our man's going to have some uh, expert level rhetorics. You figure he would. Yes. 
Well, a bit of everything. Just look for yourself. Uh oh, nope. He only has master levels. Boo. Walk less. <laughs> and it's not going to do us any good yet. Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh. Okay. Hmm? Alright, we'll go to the Nobles Quarter, so I'm pretty sure there's a uh, bookseller there. Alright, let's look at the map. The library? No, that's a bit of a dupe there. Do self. Alright, what do we got here? That's a potion shop. Royal alchemy shop. Ember Lord and Fire Flash. That's a magic shop. You know, that's a magic shop. We should probably look and see if there's any spells we can get. You know, make sure we got everything we need. I've seen this face, so yes, hooray! My wares it is you want to see. I promise you, they'll bring you glee. Uh, okay, no, no crafting or learning books I need here. Okay, spell books. Elementalism, elementalism. Just going through that which we haven't bought. Elementalism, elementalism. And these are kind of obviously elemental. Just want to see if there's anything. Is there anything we haven't? Life absorption, rank four. We'll snag that. Okay, we've learned paralyze. Fine. Spell word, rank three. Yeah, we'll snag that. And the only thing left is... Oh, no, that's... Uh, okay, so that, got, that gets us everything else we need. So we'll learn these spells. Okay. Sort by difficulty. Spell word rank three. Okay, and light magic... If absorption rank four is a it's an adept. Okay. Yeah, might as well get that one queued up. <laughs> Okay. So that's as good as that gets for now, and we're out of money again. Uh, 
Well, so at least we did do something with our money, which is fine. Okay, so... Need to find signposts. Here we are. Alright, we're gonna go to the Myrad Tower. It is time for us to try some three star quests again. Okay. So much to do. Yes. So we're gonna make a hard save here, just in case this is an utter fail. And we're gonna go what back to Duneville. Friend, where? Sure. Where to? Actually, hold on. Say, does the name Rukas ring a bell for you? Tell the warden about Morella's request. Huh. So old God's hand did find someone after all. I'm glad she did. Yes, I can take you to this island, but be careful, will you? The last time I went there, I think I saw bone rippers from the distance. So we'll do this one instead. It's also a three star, so that's fine. Okay, we're on the island. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. We get to swim now. Lucky us. How the hell do we get back, though? Cersei Alcor for hints about the cultist's fates. Uh, 07, find a way into the community hall. Alright, so we're going to poke around the island. We need to find seven clues as to what happened. There's a massive skull there. I'm not taking the order. So, to state the obvious, this place looks wrecked. Whoa! Yeah, Bone Ripper! What the hell? to see if Dimension Rift works on this damn thing. No. Well, 
It's Kimika. Okay. Okay, let's eat something. Like the vegan soup, sounds good. And we're gonna save, because goddamn. Okay, the Dimension Rift does not work, so Rock Solid's going to be the way to go. We do a fair amount of damage, but we need to keep the damage down as much as possible. Save again. And I should keep the weapon out, because I think we've learned... This place is, uh, you know, let's just say the natives are not very friendly. Fourteen pennies, a flawless amethyst, a silver bowl, and some silver ore. Okay. Muscle meat. Shells. Well, we got a Krabby here. Starting to get to nighttime, so we're getting fireflies. All right, I guess we're back to crab hunting again. My god, they're so small that uh, I guess I should be glad we don't have to fight that one. Yeah, these guys are so small I have to crouch to hit them with the dagger. Rotten Jagfin? Alchemical ingredient? Yeah. Weakness to frost. Okay. Fine. Rotten Sunfish. Shock resistance. Okay. Rotten Firefin. Fire resistance. Although I would imagine being rotten, they're probably not very 
potent with their abilities. But it's something. Okay, so it looks like we've... Yeah. We started on that tiny little island. I guess it's time to start making our way inward. So far, nothing particularly useful, but whatever. When you're hard up on money, everything's at some point useful. Ooh, autosave. Did I really get them all? Uh, save. Okay. Oh, vision. But that didn't do anything. A coconut. Note to Cylon. Cylon, if you read this, and I desperately hope this is the case because it would mean you have regained your senses. It means that Kor has already called upon us to come join into his arms. The barrier shall prevent the beast from Duneville from destroying our holy place. But, uh, but on the amulets of both our dead sisters, you can find the holy words. Please, Cylon, come to us. Kor's love is still in you and every part of your body, head to toe, every bone in your heart. I, can simply, I simply can feel it. And his last embrace shall be glorious. There was a lantern uh, and a batch of shit that I grabbed. We'll get rid of the plate, too. Find the lockers of the two dead sisters. Find a way to get into the community hall and search the Isle of Korra for hints about the cultist's fates. So now we have to poke around the island.
This might seem a bit tedious, but... Of course, I try to take a drink, and I'm getting attacked by rats. Letter of the core. Okay. Hold on to one, just in case we need it. Maybe we'll find a better one somewhere else. Alright, out! These wheels. All right. Banana? Banana! All right. Banana food or banana? Banana food. Okay. Okay, cool. We got banana. All right, let's check this cabin. Might be more rats. Or not. Cabbage. Dividers. Everything is sorted neatly, no traces of violence. Very strange. Okay. Anybody else notice that auto save there? Okay, we're going to get back to that weird bust. Okay. A bust. The mask seems to be oddly alive. Is this the deity of the cult core? Okay, out we go. This cabinet. Cabin. Brother Sullery's 13 Star Summer Night, 8231. I can hardly believe my luck. It has been four days now since Drayella had her vision of the island. 
Just a few days before the hypocrites of the order banned us from the city, our faith would be heresy and sacrilege in the face, the face of the Lord. Thanks to Cora's love, Dryella, being ashamed, told us about her dream. Isn't it strange? She felt ashamed, even though it was obvious Cora spoke through her to guide the way to our new home. The same day we already departed to find our sanctuary. As expected, the people of Duneville ridiculed us. Such an island wouldn't be non-existent. Needless to say, they were wrong. Just when a fisherman brought us against pay, against pay, who is in, who is in the world, uh, who in the world would do something like that for free, right? A few miles from shore, we could. Sorry about that. A few miles from shore, we could see the silhouette of our new home. There she was, lying in the sunset, sand as white as snow, palm trees gently waving in the wind, in Silacoris, Cor's Island. I would never forget their startled faces. The island welcomed us with, a fresh, with fresh wood, nourishment, and perfect weather. Within two days, first dwellings had been erected, and we began construction of the town hall. Also, the magical barrier, which is supposed to protect us from dark forces, and bone crackers, functions as planned. Seems like the Arcanist was worth his money. Thirteen brothers and sisters we are, are we today, and thirteen we will be when we put ourselves down to the grave and our soul will transition into Core's infinite love. All right, let's look at the second letter real quick. Sister Griella, 21 of Star Summer Night, 8231. Here I am sitting, quill and paper, being the only friends I can share my concerns with. It is the island. Already after the dream, I was troubled about these peculiar pictures. Yes. I have seen the island, and yes, with its white beaches and fertile soil, it seemed like heaven on earth. Nonetheless, there was also something else. Solaris interpreted my reluctance as timidity, but that is not what it was. It was anxiety. Even later when I told him about it, he did not want to hear of it. He is confident that, that it was Kor who sent me the vision. It is our fate to live here until we transition into this realm, into his realm. But am I the only one who feels it? Who sees it? Something dwells here, and if... And if that's supposed to be Kor's infinite love, then I am the Golden Queen. This whispers uh, in the wind of the palm tree leaves, the burning on my skin when I step into the sunshine. And yes, maybe I am just imagining this. But what about these grotesque faces on the walls? Ragger says it is a dis simple discoloration of the wood. But am I really the only one who sees faces in it? Anyway, my hands are tied. With every day, day passing by, Sullery slides further into an almost creepy felicity. He is deeply convinced that we found our purpose. We must leave. We must leave this place as soon as possible. But at the moment, I have no other choice but waiting. Kor's love will guide my lay, as it did back then. Okay. And a, a third letter. The bundle of papers appears to be some sort of correspondence to the, of the core, who, due to their vow of secrecy, had to find other ways to communicate. You can distinguish the two dialogue partners by their handwriting. The documents are dated to the 25th Star Summer Night 1. Yes, she behaved strangely recently, but don't worry, she needs time to adjust to all this here. You know how much she was attached to Ark? Maybe so. What about the things she tells, the whispering, these grotesque faces in her room? Are you now starting with that, too? These are stains, discolorations, nothing more. Do you mean this? <coughs> yes. I have to tell you something, Rukas. May I? What's that supposed to mean? Of course you may. The whispering. I, I can hear it, too. And this heat. The script is cut off at this point. Nana, we are safe here. Solaris says so, and I feel like him. This island is Cora's gift, and we will stay here until then. Just trust me. You know I would never let anything happen to you. Mm-hmm. All right. Recipe, Chemicum Vitality. Requires Leucogaricus and dates. I've got the level a bunch of coconuts and some dates. Hey, hey. Oh, 
Well, on the bright side, we're getting some rather exotic goodies here. Lube oil. All right. Let's find another cabin. What the heck? Somebody massacred the chickens, and judging by the sword, it was a human. But why? Can't get the egg. Aww. So kill the chickies. All right, we need a key for this one. There's a key as well. We're back in the town center. All right, let's check out this cabin. This is the carpenter's house. Oh, spider egg. They hear more rats. You know, we're going to have some fun here. Oh, that's weird. Life absorption goes from... At rank 3, it goes from... Elementalism to... Light magic. That is so weird. Pick up another disease. No.
Shadow Steel. Okay. Let's see what's back here. All right, the fourth letter. Sister Corey, 23rd of the Great Flood, 8232. This morning, Drayella had an attack. Right in the middle of the prayer in the parish hall, she started to scream and strike out wildly and needed three of us to calm her down. Even after we managed to calm her down, she did not stop screaming something about corpse grimaces. She must have referred to the faces she sees in the wall. Sullerys and had her brought to the parish hall and gave her a potion made, made from dawn flower juice to sedate her. As a matter of fact, her attack was not the bad thing. It was Sullery's and the other men's half-heartedness in carrying on after they had brought Drayella to her cabin. As if nothing had happened. To them, it seems to be awfully simple to shrug off her state as delusion. I cannot. And, which is even worse, I know that she is talk- I know what she is talking about. For a long time, I talked myself into believing that it was just my imagination. But this is not the case. The whispering, it is there, and a shroud of certainty that something is wrong lays upon everything. I feel like a child to whose father gave it a lifelike wax figure from which he tries to convince it to be his friend. No matter how skillful it was crafted and how immaculate the skin seems to be, in the end, it is dead. And was right from the beginning. What the damn hell is going on here? Okay, more of those uh, robes. We only really need one. And I'm not even sure about that. All right, looking at the books. You know, sellable shit. All right, let's leave this cabin. And we're almost out of time already. Jeez, we're going to have to pick this up again pretty soon. Well, we still need to explore. We still need to find, well, first off, more of those letters. And secondly, the other things. Okay, I guess we haven't explored this one. You contracted ataxia. Well, I'll say this. The magic is working really well for... Recipe Wolf Blood. Once again, you find a correspondence. You recognize the handwriting. It is from Rukus and Sister uh, Nana. I have to talk to you, Rukus. What is it? I'm occupied. Rukus, I, I cannot stand it any longer. All this here, it is it is too much. It is about Solaris, isn't it? What did he do today? He hurt her, damn it. He hit her with a slam of the, uh, in the face. She deserves it. What? She deserves it. Don't, didn't you hear what she was about to do? She wanted to betray us. Dana, betray us. This is just not true. She wanted to go because she feels bad, and she said she wanted to come back again. Which is uh, which she did not intend to do. And even if so, she is not allowed to go. This, Dana, is our home. Cor led us here, and leaving the island would mean to spit on his love. Actually, this twat should count herself lucky that Solaris left, her, uh, left, left it for a few hits. 
Nice. Real nice. A ring of precision. Bows do 8% more damage. Okay. All right, it looks like we're hungry again. We'll eat the cheese wheel. Okay, been here. Oh, okay. I missed the crates. <laughs> That's fine, we do need to go this way. And I know we're past the hour mark, but god damn it, I'm having fun here and I just feel really weird leaving it here. Whoa, okay. Oh shit. Well, I didn't expect that. Damn it. Yeah, we'll pop that. We'll pop that. And we leveled! Mm. Here's the thing, we're supposed to be a tank, but we're not very tankly right now. We need more health. Okay, letter of the core number six. Once more, you find a correspondence. This time, the handwriting points to Sister da uh, Sister Nana and her sister Corey. Twenty-first on eighty-two thirty-two. This is madness, Corey. You cannot do that. I can, and you'll come with me. What if they catch us? You know what he did to you last time. If they catch us, they will kill us. But they would do that anyway, sooner or later. What? Don't act the fool, damn it! I know that you feel like Driella and me, and if we do not act now, they will lock us up like her. But Rukus. Rukus is not Rukus anymore, and I don't think that you need me to tell you, 
Or do you really want to tell me that you just fell down the stairs? Lying was never one of your assets, Dana. Dana. Oh, is Dana, not Nana? Oh, well. Dried tears have washed out the following lines of Dana's shaky writing. He, a good person. Damned. Damn. Not simply leave. You did not leave him. He left you. Tonight, one hour after the parish prayer, Rugar's eye see worse than a senile Leor, and he won't notice. We'll take one of the boats. Ring of the Elemental Apprentice. Okay, here we go. The Five Revelations of Kor. One, all matter is an illusion created by the Demiurge. The Demiurge is vile, and the Lightborn, or any gods worshipped by the common people, are his puppets. Kor is unconditional love, pure and glorious, and it is in this love that we, Kor's children, long for. Two, only we can break free from the shackles that tie us to this world, and only those of pure spirit can do so. The acceptance of his purity and thus the reunification of all sorry, the renunciation of all matter is called the Sakava. Three earthly pleasures, whether food, music, or fleshy des fleshly desires, are Kutra and prevent this second uh, the seeking soul from achieving Sakava. All Kutra are tools created by the demiurge to tie us to his false world. Four, language and spoken word is the mightiest tool of the demiurge to prevent us from experiencing Kor's true love. Language is driven by emotions and impulses and is not based on self-reflection and meditation. Seek silence to find Sakava. Five, the brother and sisterhood between those who seek the Saka uh, Satava is a precious good and may help on our journey to Kor's love. Love your brothers and sisters with all your heart and never do them harm. Yeah, well, I think uh, beating the snot out of somebody's uh, not very lovely. Hey, XP's XP, right, y'all? Well, we've got one letter left. I'd like to find it before we end this video. Well, I'm guessing the two dead sisters are probably those two who tried to flee, which means we'll have to look at the boats. And seven is quiet. Bronze necklace of constitution. Increase your health by ten points. What are we rocking now? Carex Charm, one-handed attacks do 5% more damage, heavy armor fortified by 5 points. Which is actually better than the bronze necklace we just found. That's fine. But it could be disenchantable. Most of these books deal with alchemy recipes or herbalism. Okay, last letter. Okay, let's read it and then we'll call this video for now. Brother Solaris, 26 of the Golden Moon, 82-33. The sun is crimson or an unevening sky and the roar of the surf is peaceful. What an August view. One last gift from you before we finally receive your endless love. Today, Rukas came back from Duneville and brought the potions as well as everything we need for, for the great feast. 
The others have been preparing the great feast since yesterday's evening. Oh, how it smells. A real blessing. After that, all will be done as you wish. And yes, that, that what happened last week fills me with sorrow just like you. But you said yourself, your way is the way of love and the... And the one of the demiurge is hatred. Corey and Dana chose the demiurge because their faith in you was too weak. Therefore, they paid the price. We, on the other hand, your true disciples, know about your endless mercy in which you laid us, led us here. We are your children, and your love cuts across us from head to toes, flows in our blood, and sleeps in our bone marrow. The day of advancement has come. Okay. So, what have we learned? We learned... Well, we know who the two dead sisters are. And we have a... We have some clues as to where they may be. Okay, the lockets of the two dead sisters. We know who they are. Alright. So, with that said... We have some ideas of what we need to do now, and we've basically wrapped around this island now. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in, and to help this channel grow. It's been Big Dave, the middle-aged gamer. This is Enderal Forgotten Stories. I'll see you all next time.